Even though I don't know exactly how I'm going to create the life of my dreams, I'm not worried. Even though a lot of people probably think that I should be. Because this world is full of opportunities. There is an infinite amount of opportunities. And if the current path that I'm on isn't quite leading me to where I want to be, I know that it's at least getting me closer to the thing that will. And there may be many things I do along my journey. Who knows? But knowing this just helps me feel a lot more relaxed about the future and not stress so much about my current results. Am I saying that I'm going to give up on my biggest dreams in life? No, absolutely not. But it's the knowing that if there ever comes a day where I would like to do something different because I'm a human being and it's normal to change and evolve, it's that knowing that keeps me calm and relaxed about the future. It's this abundance mindset that helps me when I start to feel discouraged. Because yes, I do still feel discouraged at times. I'm human. So sometimes I have to take a step back from being so hyper fixated on my current results and focus on the bigger picture of what it is that I truly want in life not being attached to a specific when or how. If you're feeling frustrated, stagnant, discouraged, insecure, maybe you also need to take a step back from the things that you're putting so much pressure on and just relax. So that is what we're gonna be chatting about in this video today. I'm gonna try to help you to move a little bit forward if you're feeling stagnant. But we're gonna be approaching this in a little bit of a different way. This might sound counterintuitive to what you hear a lot of other people say, but rather than being specific on how you're going to get to where you want to be in life. I want you to actually take a step back and just focus on the bigger picture of your goals and your vision in this life, such as financial freedom or travel or love and connection or passive income or health. Still being specific about what you desire and how you want to feel, yet being completely open to the how. And I'm not saying any of this to discourage you from the current path that you're on. If you have a dream that you really want to pursue, I do not want you to give up on that at all. I actually just want you to take the pressure off of it because when we're feeling really discouraged and stagnant, it kind of keeps us in that place of stagnation. It's really hard to move forward when you start to lose hope, when you start to feel frustrated, when you start to lose belief in yourself. So sometimes the best thing that we can do for ourselves in this moment is to take the pressure off of the specific goal that we have at this time and to shift our point of attraction on the big picture, not focusing on our lack of achievement, but actually just feeling excited again about the future. If you're watching this, I'm sure there's been a time where you realized that you desired something out of life. And when you made that clear to yourself, you were filled with so much inspiration and hope and excitement for the future. Yet maybe over time, as things didn't quite happen in the timeline that you would like them to, or you had a lot of challenges come up, or a lot of insecurities that have come to the surface, you might have started to lose that spark within you that you initially had. And that's kind of what this video is about, is getting back to that good feeling place. Because feeling good is the key to getting where you want to be, is the key to moving out of stagnation. Of course, we cannot force ourselves to always feel positive, but we can shift our focus onto something that may allow us to feel positive again and to start thinking differently. I've been making YouTube videos for over three years now and have seen very little growth over that time. I'm incredibly grateful for the subscribers and the supporters that I do have now, but I would be lying if I said that the growth hasn't been slow. Are there times when I start to feel pretty discouraged and insecure about myself? Absolutely yes. But in those times, I try to shift my focus back to the vision that I have for my life, reminding myself that as long as I stay focused on creating my dream life, things will come together in whatever way that they are supposed to. There are so many ways that I could achieve passive income or financial abundance or travel, but not even just talking about money. I mean, there are so many ways that I could meet my soul family. There are many things that I will probably do and learn along the way to become the version of myself that I desire to be. So when I stop putting so much pressure on the how, in my case, wanting to be a content creator, it reminds me that I'm doing this because I enjoy it. I'm doing this because I love it, because it's my passion, because I feel called to doing it. And so as long as I am doing what my soul feels called to, then I know that I'm on the right track, whether I have seen those immediate results or not. Staying open to possibility is the most enriching way to live life. Being so closed off all the time and so stubborn all the time is really what can hold us back 
from getting to where we want to be. So it may sound counterintuitive to focus less on the steps to get there, but sometimes we need different things at different points in our lives. If all you've been doing is focusing on the big picture but not yet taking any action steps, then the most beneficial thing for you to do would be to start looking into some possible routes of getting there. But when you feel like you've been trying so hard and you're just not getting to where you want to be, you need to take some time to step back from what you're working on and just chill out for a second and focus on feeling good again. We are always going to make more progress in life when we are in a good state of mind. So not only does shifting our attention to the bigger picture open us up to new possibilities, but it also takes some pressure off of what we are currently working on, which naturally allows it to flow more easily. I'm sure you've all had this experience where you were trying really hard to do something, even if it was just a small little task, and it just wasn't working out. Maybe you were trying to untangle a necklace. So you decide to just put it down, forget about it, and do something else. And then when you come back to it, you're finally able to untangle it. Why? Because you allowed yourself to take the pressure off, to just chill out for a second, to focus on something else, so when you came back to it, you had more clarity, you were more relaxed about it. It's the same thing when you're focusing on achieving a certain goal. Sometimes we simply need to just take a step back from it and just focus on feeling good again in order to come back with more clarity, with more inspiration, with more peace of mind. So maybe you just simply need to take some time to relax, to do something fun, to rejuvenate your soul again. Maybe you need to go to the beach or maybe you need to write down your biggest desires in life again. Maybe you need to spend some time visualizing something that you would love to happen. Maybe you need to spend some time scripting, not focusing on your current progress or achievements, but the pleasure that having goals brings. Feel the pleasure of the possible manifestations of your goals that are on the horizon or just around the corner. The pleasure of having a vision, a purpose that guides you throughout your life because that is so incredibly fulfilling. To wake up every day and have hope for the future, to be excited about the future, not necessarily knowing how it may conspire, but enjoying being the creator of your life, inch by inch, step by step. I used to struggle with crippling depression because I didn't have any goals. I didn't have any vision for my life. I didn't have any purpose that was guiding me through life. So there was nothing that I was really excited about to wake up in the morning. So it's okay to feel stagnant. It's okay to feel discouraged. It's okay to feel overwhelmed, insecure even. Those are normal emotions that everyone feels on their journey to success, whatever that means to them. If you've made it clear what you desire in life, you are already on the right track, whether those results have shown or not, because you are moving through life with a clear vision, aiming for something that matters to you. And that is the most fulfilling way that you can live. You're gonna continue to go through waves of doubt and waves of hope and excitement. That's just the journey. So just chill out, take a step back and allow this feeling to pass because it will. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this video added value to you. If it did, then give it a like or subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you a part of my safe space community. But other than that, I really hope that I see you in my next video.